Okay, so we just pulled into Toronto. I have no idea what to do now. It's 7 a.m. My Airbnb isn't ready till 3 p.m. Um, I got enough sleep, so it's not like that, but um, it's still really early. Also, I can't figure out the Wi-Fi. I did buy an international thing, but I don't know how to use anything. So I'm gonna try and just stumble upon a Starbucks or something and try and figure stuff out there. So I thought an 11 hour bus ride would be god awful and by 4 a.m. I'd be like, why did I do this? But it actually wasn't that bad. I was able to sleep. Um, no one sat next to me, which I was like, thank God. Um, so I had like that, you know, kind of space. And then thank God, um, at the first rest stop, I bought a neck pillow, which was like a saving grace. And I bought a little blanket. So that really helped. So I, I slept pretty well. I did wake up like 20 million times, but I was able to go to sleep pretty well and like stay asleep and feel rested and it wasn't that uncomfortable uh, so like i said i'm gonna try and find i'm actually gonna try and find a hotel just to pee in their lobby and then go to a starbucks and use their wi-fi and just kind of like see what where i want to go from here i just filmed a bunch in public and i realized i wasn't actually recording so i just went to like a marriott or a hilton use their bathroom and stuff um brush my teeth put on like fresh ish makeup and then I use our Starbucks to like get my bearings straight and stay warm and stuff. Cause I thought it'd be a little bit nicer, but it's snowing here. Um, but I did get to figure out like the directions of where I'm going. I screenshotted everything just in case I can't get um, Wi-Fi or data or anything. Um, so I think the plan right now is to drop my stuff off at the Airbnb. It's not ready till three and it's like nine right now, but she said I could drop my stuff off. And then I wanted to go to the Kensington market. It's like a bunch of little shops and like um, food places. But I think I'm going to see Beauty and the Beast just to stay warm and like give me something to do for two hours and then get lunch and then hopefully it'll be time to go drop my stuff off. Well, not drop my stuff off, but actually check in. It smells like a big fucking blunt right now. Um, <laughs> so then I can actually shower and take a nap. And then I think the plan for tonight, um, there's a couple places I want to eat and I might try and see a comedy show or something. I noticed a bunch of people in a hockey jersey. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll see a, like a Maple Leafs game. You know, that's so Canadian. And the tickets are like $500. It's like a lot more popular here than it is, you know, in America. So I think I'm going to opt for, you know, something cheaper like the comedy show. So let me walk over to my Airbnb. It looks like a straight shoot down this road. So hopefully that's what it is. Okay, so I just met my Airbnb host. She is so cool. Like automatically, like I was like, I like this woman. Oh, a lot of people in the audience are <laughs> I'm just so happy to see you guys because about a few minutes ago I said I really hope people show up to this panel. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you. Give up. Everybody wants something. They'll take your money. And then never give up. So I did get some Canadian only food, like these ketchup chips and then these Kinder surprises. So I do need to finish these before I go back to America. So I will definitely be plowing tonight. So it is 10 p.m. and it's my last night. So I'm kind of gauging on if I want to go to the bar like across the street alone. Cause I haven't been like to a bar. So I'm like, I could go for like a beer. And I think it's fun to do when you're in like a new city. Um, and it's not that pathetic to go to the bar alone when you're on vacation. So I'm debating it, but I can also just kind of like fall asleep. So I don't know what I want to do. All right, so I'm going to make the attempt. I'm going to go at least walk by bars. And if I feel so inclined, I will go in for one. Into one for a beer. Okay, I went out to a really cool bar. It's literally right behind me. So that was perfect location. Had two beers. I, like I said, I don't drink that much anymore, so I'm a cheap date, so I'm like a little buzz, so I feel good. Um, I do realize I have to get up pretty early tomorrow, so going back, gonna go eat my ketchup chips and uh, go to bed. It's 11.45 at night and I'm whispering, it's ASMR. <laughs> I'm about to try ketchup chips for the first time. It's a huge chip, it's gonna blow up in my face, but let's try this Canadian delicacy. Oh, these are good. Well, now I have to eat the whole bag because I don't think it can come through customs with me. <sighs> okay, after today at least, an Uber, an 11-hour bus, 
and a train. I am finally home and disgusting, but I'm home. Okay, so excuse my messy room, but I figured I'd kind of recap the Toronto trip while trying some Canadian candy. So I have a few. I have, let's see, a Kinder Surprise, Krispy Crunch, which I already did have one, and then Arrow. So we'll be eating those. It's not a mukbang, but I'll be trying Canadian candy um, during this. So I guess um, I included my footage. Oh, my house is shaking. Um, <laughs> I included my footage of me getting there and all that stuff, but I didn't really get to vlog too much. Um, so the bus there was not as terrible as I thought it would be. I've done, I, I did a cross country train trip, so that was 40 hours. So I was like, oh, 10 hours on a bus won't be that bad. And it wasn't like thankfully remembered where a Starbucks was as we were pulling into the bus terminal. And I kind of like got my way back there, even though I'm so directionally bad at that stuff. And the last day I figured out, I actually had the data all along. I just didn't know what to switch off, but I did have it all along. So didn't need to keep running in and out of random Starbucks the, the whole time. So I guess we'll go with the Kinder Surprise first. So when we got there, I, like I, you saw, I hid in a Starbucks for a while, kind of got my bearings straight, Google mapped everything I kind of wanted to check out. Um, but it was kind of raining and I was hoping I would get to explore more. I wanted to like walk around. There were so many cool art walls. I stayed in like the arts district, um, like Queen Street. And there was just so much cool wall murals that I wanted to like, well, I wanted to take pictures of them, but there was no one around to take pictures of me, but, and it wasn't that nice out. So, um, I also wanted to, the whole kind of trip was to meet Lore and meet the Degrassi cast, but I really wanted to go to Degrassi Street. So, um, that didn't end up happening. I also, I messaged the producer of Degrassi, the next generation, and he did the old Degrassi too. And I was like, I'm coming to Toronto from New Jersey. Anyway, I can get a set tour. And he said something like, oh, we're on hiatus. So he never really said no. So I might come back. Um, so this is a Kinder Surprise. So it's a chocolate egg. And I believe they said there is a toy in here. So let's go. Fitting because tomorrow was Easter. <laughs> oh. Oh. So pretty good. Basic chocolate. I think there's a lining of white chocolate. And there's the toy right there. I thought it'd be like a little thing. I feel like we had something similar to this in the United States in the 90s. And there was just like a little, not toy, but it was like a different kind of candy. It was like a Pez, but it was like shaped like a bear or something. Does anyone remember those? Okay. What kind of toy is this going to be? So this is what's inside. Laura's friend, who I met Brianne, she was saying she was eating one of these in the car. <laughs> this popped in her mouth and she started choking. But this is pretty big. Can't open it for the life of me. Hold on. Let me suck some chocolate off of it. Okay. Oh! Oh! Cute. So it looks like a Lego or something. It's like a dinosaur. I'm guessing I have to put this together. It is like a Lego. So there's like a dinosaur head in there. So that's really cute. Okay. So that's something we don't have in the States, a Kinder Surprise. So it's chocolate and it's a fun toy. So next part of my trip. Okay, so then my Airbnb host said I could drop my stuff off because it was still too early because um, the people who were in before me were still there. So I get there. She was so cool. You know when you just meet someone right off the bat and they're just like really warm and inviting and just cool? She's just like that. So I was like so in awe of her. I wish I could be like that. Um, if you ever meet me, I'm very cold in person. I don't mean to be. It's just my aura. So she was just like right off the bat so warm. And she was so, so cool. She runs a rock and roll camp for little girls. Like, can you get cooler? No. So she also had a music studio in her um, apartment. So everything about her was so dope. Um, so we were chatting in her, um, in the front little hallway. And she, I told her I was there for Degrassi and she knows, um, if you're familiar with the Degrassi of like the 2010s, um, Jane, who was played by Paula Brancati, she knows Paula, like Paula's been to her apartment, like knows her band, sees her bands all the time. And like she could text Paula. 
And I was like, oh my God. She also knew Lauren Collins, who is Paige Michael Chuck. And if you don't know who that is, have you ever seen Degrassi in your life? So she also knows Lauren Collins. So I was just like, my mind was blown. Cause like, I literally like came for Degrassi stuff and she knows like two Degrassi people. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so after that, I dropped my stuff off. And then um, I went to see the movies because it was snowing. So I couldn't explore that much, which kind of bummed me out. And I was like, I need to kill a couple hours. So I ended up seeing Before I Fall. I want to, I always confuse that with If I Stay. So Before I Fall and Hidden Figures. Um, Hidden Figures was amazing. And Before I Fall was really good too. I read the book um, a while ago. And I think it's, you know, it's good. I'm not mad that I made, I paid money for it. I feel like it was more of a, like a Netflixy kind of movie. Um, I will, my teenage badass, um, one of these movies I paid for. The other one I snuck into. I've never snuck into a movie. Um, I feel like that's a very, like, I'm 14 doing something cool kind of thing. I feel a little bad, but, um, the opportunity arose and I did it. So someone's going to watch this video and be like, arrest her. Um, so that was a good, like, four hour block of time to kill time with. Um, I do love that Canadian exchange rate. I was like, popcorn, soda, charge it. Cause, um, the Canadian exchange rate I think is 75%. So if it's $10 Canadian, when it comes up on my credit card statement in America, it's only like $7 and some change. So I was like, go for it. And then I went back to the Airbnb and it was all nice and ready. I hate cats though. And she had a cat and this mofo was all over me. Like, hung out in my room on the bed the whole time. I had kind of put out my papers, like um, my itineraries and stuff. He was right on there. But he's such a fat ass that I was like, you're so cute. He was like an overweight cat. He was like 20 pounds that I was like, okay, I'm really scared of cats, but this guy can't just jump up out of nowhere because he's gonna be so sluggish because he's so big. So me and Kevin bonded. He's cool in my book. So we, we were cool all weekend. Um, I would not let him sleep in the same room as me though. Cause I hate, ugh, I feel like they want to just crawl on your face or whatever. So he could hang out with me when I was hanging out, but when it was time to sleep, uh, he was out of there. Um, so I needed an activity for the Saturday night. No, the Friday night. I don't know what day I went. Friday. I don't know. Um, I found, I, um, one of my ideas was to go to the second city, um, improv comedy place. And Second City is where like all your, you know, favorite comedians come from. So I found the one in Toronto and they were doing a show that night. Um, and it was only $5. So I bought the ticket. Then I realized I bought the ticket for the Chicago show. And I frantically emailed them like, I'm in Toronto, not Chicago. Please refund me. I already, and then I rebought the one for Toronto. So then I get down there and it's a really small waiting room. I know, I knew it was going to be small and intimate kind of a show. Um, I get in the theater. It's like a, you know, 25, maybe 30 seats in there. Everyone else in the theater was in the show. I was looking around. I'm like, wait, wait, because they all had like their little papers. They all knew each other. Literally, I was the only paying customer at this comedy show. Cause like this guy would get up, do his set, come sit down next to me. Then this group would go up and do an improv set, come sit down next to me. So I was like literally the only audience member. So that was a little weird. And then at one point I'm like, should I just jump up on stage and do something? Like, I didn't know. And the next day was the Comic-Con day and that was like basically what I came there for. And I knew I was gonna meet Laura at the Comic-Con. So I um, just kind of waited at the end of that line for her to come out. And then we met and she was with her friend Brienne. So Brienne was really cool. So we all hung out. I've never been to a Comic-Con. So it was good that Laura was there to show me the ropes because I'm going to one in Philadelphia soon. So now I know all that stuff. So we went through Artist Alley. So all these, you know, like, artists, um, graphic designers, you know, anyone who makes some kind of craft, um, they're there, like t-shirt designers, poster designers, you know. I ended up buying this at the end. So this was made using like tea bags as art. So, and I love um, wolves, um, foxes, bears. So I ended up getting this. So I thought this was so cute. And you know, like I said, it was made with tea bags. So at some point I'm gonna frame that and then when I grow up, I will put it in my office. But I thought that was really cool. And I like, you know, supporting smaller artists. So I knew I wanted to get something and that one really caught my eye. It's funny about Comic-Con, like the Shannon of five years ago would have made fun of these people, but I've grown as a person. I'm not that much of a dick anymore. And I was actually really impressed by these people's costumes and stuff. So 
growing up. Then me and Lor, we had our Degrassi photo op. So we waited in line for that and it was cool to just catch up with her because like I said, we've never met, but we've known each other online since like 2004. So we were just dishing on all of the um, drama of our internet lives of being teenagers and like where those people are now, if we still keep in touch with those other people. Me and Laura basically met on an American Idol message board back in the day and have remained friends ever since. Um, so we were just talking about that kind of stuff. And then it was time to get in line to go meet the older Degrassi cast. So like, I'm talking like Degrassi Junior High, Degrassi High, but these were the adults that ended up on The Next Generation. So it's like Mr. Simpson, Joey, Caitlin. If you've never seen Degrassi in your life, you're like, what is she talking about? Um, but I was a huge stan. I met Drake when he was still Aubrey. Um, there's actually a huge poster of it in my closet back there. Um, so that meet and greet went pretty quick. And when me and Laura were like next in line, we're like trying to figure out, we're like, okay, I'm going to stand here. I'm going to stand here. She's like, I don't know what to say. I'm like, well, I guess I'll just say I'm from New Jersey. So it was our turn. And I knew I wanted to stand next to Mr. Simpson because I was like a total dad crush on him. Um, so we kind of planned that. But we approach and I'm like, I came here from New Jersey. And they were like, oh my God. So it was like cool that they'll probably remember me because that's like not a lot of people did that. So I was like, I came all the way to uh, Canada for this. And they were like really jazzed about that. So then we took our picture and then we're leaving. And the guy who plays Joey, his name is Pat Mastriani. He pulls me aside. He's like, can you let New Jersey Comic Con know that like we want to come down and, you know, make an appearance. And it was like, okay, even though I have zero clout with New Jersey Comic Con, you know, but I was like, yeah, sure. So Comic Con was really cool. I'm now I'm like excited and I know the gist of it for the one I'm going to next. Um, and then Laura and Brienne, we went out to eat and they were really, really good tour guides. Like I did a touristy picture in front of the Toronto, um, I think it's the city hall and there's like a big ice skating rink. So I was being super touristy. I was like, show me anything touristy. We went to that mall and I was like, not to be morbid, but was this where that shooting was? And it was. Um, and then they took me to the CN Tower where Drake sat on top of on his album cover. Um, and then we had, oh, what are they called? Beaver Tails. So this is something else they don't have in the States, even though they totally could. It was like, so it's essentially funnel cake, but flat. And then they could put anything on. I had like a plain one with just Nutella and some powdered sugar. Um, I think Laura had like an apple and caramel ones and they were so good. And then I took a touristy picture, um, at the restaurant. So I was like, give me the full Toronto experience. We went on, um, Lake Ontario. Am I, am I right? We, a nice waterfront. So they gave me, they were really, really good tour guides and gave me the whole, um, tour. So then I went back and Kevin was on my bed again. So I had to get him out. Um, it was really, my room, I think I showed you again. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep referencing of what I already showed you. It had like a Drake shrine. So it was all these nice little landscapes and then Drake was in the middle. So I thought that was really funny. Um, and then the next morning I had to be on my bus by 9 p.m. a.m. So um, again, in her bio about little places to visit, I wish I had more time because I read the bio and I was like, oh, I wanna go here, here, and here. And I'm like, I have two hours left here. So it was like a nice little, um, pastry dessert shop I don't know it was so cute though um so I got a chocolate croissant and some tea and I just felt very fancy and then I got another chocolate croissant to go because chocolate croissants are my favorite like I guess pastry or breakfast thing um and they're just a million times better in Canada I'll get one at like Starbucks every now and then here but they are so much better from like an actual Canadian you know bakery I first had one when I went to Montreal so it was even more like legit because it was like French um, but amazing. And I wish I had bought five. Um, so then I got back on my bus. It was kind of annoying cause it's like a, a 10, 11 hour bus ride. We had to pass literally through my town to get back into New York for me to then take a bus back to New Jersey. And I was like, when we were passing through my town, I'm like, can they just let me off? They probably couldn't because there's rules, but I was like, I'm in my town. So that was kind of annoying, but it was funny cause I got back to work the next day. Everyone's like, I love that you just like leave and get on a 11 hour bus and go to Canada. I love that you can just do that. And I don't mind traveling alone. I think adventures, little adventures are really fun. And I, I don't know. I'm just too tired of like asking around for people to do stuff with me that I'll just be like going and I'll just go by myself. So, um, I really like doing stuff like that. I, it's important to do while I'm young. I don't have kids. I don't, you know, have like a lot of responsibilities holding me down somewhere. So, trying to do more kind of weekendy trips like that. But I loved Canada. 
Um, I definitely want to go back soon. Brianne and Laura took me to the store just so I can get all the candy and food that Canada has that I don't. So I picked up ketchup chips, which you saw me eat, and they were actually really good. Um, I'm sure if I searched hard enough, I could find them in America. Um, so I, um, I had picked this and the Kinder Surprise, and I was kind of like on the fence about this, but then um, I decided not to get it. And on, on the way out, Brianne's like, bought you this. So thank you, Brianne. That was so nice. Canadians are so nice. I was like, even your homeless people are nice. So the Crispy Crunch, they're kind of like a Butterfinger. I actually already had one and it kind of hurt to eat. So they're kind of like a Butterfinger. So they have that really um, crunchy. And then there was like a layer of, um, what is that called? Like, like hard caramel. So they're good if you're in the mood for that. Um, I, I, my t like mouth has been hurting lately, so I won't be eating that. But I do want to try this Arrow. They're like the... Um, they're infused with air, you know? So, okay, let's do this. Cause my video is already 20 minutes long. Ooh. Mm. Laura mentioned something. So see, there's the air bubbles in there. Laura mentioned something about you can hear them or feel them. I definitely felt them. I let it sit there for a second. You could feel them going like, you know? This is really good. So it's kind of just like, a regular, I was gonna say a Dove bar, but Nestle, you know, like a regular chocolate bar infused with air. So it feels a little bit more like chewy, but I really like this. So I'm gonna have to find my way back to Canada. I, I didn't know if you're allowed to like get these back over the border. So I literally tried to smuggle them. I like wrapped them up in a towel and then I got to customs and he's like, do you have anything in your bag? And I was like, candy bars. He's like, oh, you're fine then. I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know like what kind of food you could and couldn't bring in and out. I'm pretty sure you can't bring like fruits. I think that's like the no. Um, but I think like packaged things are fine. Also, I will end this um, on another weird note. In the customs, um, border customs thing on the New York side to get into Canada, there was a wanted poster for a clown. That was terrifying. So. Um, yeah, so I had a fun trip. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you soon. Bye! Side note, speaking of Comic-Con, let me know if I should meet just Eric Matthews or Eric Matthews and Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World. Thank you.